Hello, this is Andrew Bartlett with Database Controls. I'm showing you a quick video on a program we're doing for Microsoft Access for our real estate database. And all right, so for starters here, uh, pretty much help boost your business and revenue. All right, so first off, we're going to have our tenant profile. And from here, you can search. It's an alphabetical order. It's going, yeah, we approach added a lot of people in this one. And if you want to filter it, move the filter. And this is the only time I'm going to be doing this with the filter and stuff like that because it's in every form. So I don't, I'm not going to give you redundant information here. And you're going to print. This prints the whole thing. And if you don't want all that information, you just print the data only. Save, uh, save ink. Change it back. Close. And exit it out there. All right, so next you get your properties. And same as before. Screen. So now one other interesting caveat over here. You get your list here. And you can edit your list. So let's say they're in a building. Condo, building, there you go. And this in general, it's apartment. All right. Um, I believe it was a condo. And you can edit back. Okay. All right. And next we have your, well, I'll leave this up for a second. So you got your, uh, let's see, your tenant housing that they're going to live at. Now this information, this comes from, oh, first get your first last name, everything like that. Um, and this comes from the tenant profile. So let's just say it's fully, okay, let's add this one. Okay, this comes from your properties. Anyone living in Bridge? Okay, good. No, there, oh, there's another bridge, but yeah, either way. Lafayette Lane. Okay, drive. Let's put in apartment B. Let's say their payments, rent, their monthly payments are uh, 6, 4, 5, 32. I like putting non round numbers so it just makes it look more correct. I'll say a 15 month lease and there we go all right refresh the information and they're in there now i was also going to go over to the expense prop the expense sheet and show what happens over here so let's say grand now this the reason why i left the other form up and this mortgage so green street comes from here let's say green okay here, mark is 9.59, and 9.59, right there. So let's say you spent $300 in tax, like that. Repairs, uh, 5.50, 36. Let's say you're doing plumbing again. And it happened, 13, you name it. Utilities, 53, 56. And right here, you got your whole grand total, which sums up every one of your expenses. And yeah. And this is telling up all the expenses right there for you. Okay, and let's go close, and you can close out of these. Close out. Close out. Now let's go to the good part right here. So you got your tenant, uh, tenant housing, we've already been through there off yet. So whatever you get from your tenant housing, which I'm gonna show here, is goes into your payments. So uh, let's say the last person was, we had a, a Connor. We're gonna have a new person, let's try this. Uh, the arrow is already got something. Thank you. Hunt. 
Yeah, leave hot. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's give mm, Crescent. Oh, okay, well, you already got Crescent Avenue, but they're in um, twice, so A, D, so let's give mm, C. Okay. And the monthly payment's going to be, say, Five thirty-two fifty, and they're on a say fifteenth month, fifteen month lease on there, and all right, got that fresh information. Yep. All right. So now from here, you got your housing, and the big one right here, you got your payments. So we're gonna look at Annie right here. Well, this Miss Annie. <laughs> okay, so right here, uh, and the only thing that's going to pull up are people who have housing, who are registered in the housing profile. So let's take her and fill us all the information across the address, the payment, and now it does take today's date. It does that automatically. See right there, it's got the date again. So let's say the due date, we want to make it, let's say it's 7th. You even change that. All right, and let's say she she paid early. Actually, let's let's try that. Paid early. So right there, she was six days early. So shows up in green, and she still owes five thirty-two fifty. So she paid. Let's say five thirty fifty. Let's do that. So she still has a rain balance of $2. And she remembered that, went down to the office. And there you go. She owes nothing. So if they paid extra, you got the extra in there. Uh, in green, you have exact, zero is in yellow. And if they're in red, they're in red. And that's that right there. You can refresh information, make sure it's in there. And of course, like always, you can go to the person you need there. All right, and oh, and just for mentioning this right here, I've shown this earlier, but you can delete. It will ask you if you want to delete, or not going to right now. And okay, all right, let's close this out. Close this out. And now we're going to go to the reports. So you got your expense report. Like I mentioned before, it's going to tally everything up on here. You can print, have this like that, close, property report, okay. And for your reports, pretty much, if you just want to do a quick, easy filter, um, right click, equals, there you go, and clear the filter. And I got your total profit loss. What I did with this was just... Um, let's say you had your current value, I mean your current value and your present value, just subtracted it, and you know, gain your mortgage as well, your gains and losses. Um, and you got your total, total profit and loss. All right, and let's close that, close this, and your tenant report. Now this has a whole running total of everything, pretty much. Now, this is pretty much the best part in here. So, let's say I just want information for her, this one. All right, so you filter this out, and instead of just printing, you can send an email. This will take just a few minutes. See right there, it's starting to use the Outlook. And, I, and by default, I put I use a billing statement. And if you want to look at it, there you go. Oh, I must have put on the um, data only. Anyways, so either way. And close this out. And of course, you can try and print and change the uh, setting to print all data. Pretty much, 
Close preview. And you can clear your filter. And there you go. So you have a total running, you have a running total of everything and running total of how much. Now this is nice too though. I put the, uh, let me filter this out one more time. So she has eight months on her leaf, lease left. So you got 10 month lease, 10 month lease. And this pretty much goes on the count of how many times they've been in here. So they've been in, they've made payments two times. So obviously 10 minus two equals eight. They have $1, they pay $1 extra and they're 11 days late still pretty much on average total. Okay, close that out. All right, so that concludes. Uh, let me know what you think. And as far as I can make custom forms and reports like this for your business, I would love to help you out. All right, have a great day and thank you for watching. Hello YouTube, hi, this is Andrew Bartlett. And thank you so very much for watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and please let, email me, let me know if you have any tech questions, anything you might want me to look into, I'll definitely put that on the next video. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching and you have a great, wonderful day.